So I'll just talk briefly now about um, penalties and defenses uh, to uh, the charge of distribution of intimate images. Now, um, there's no minimum for, there's no mandatory minimum for distribution of intimate images. Uh, however, that being said, um, the Crown, in my experience, almost always seeks jail. Um, and if the case is very good, uh, then it becomes about uh, convincing a judge why my client uh, should uh, not go to jail and receive a non-custodial sentence. Um, there are several cases where in Ontario where there have been discharges for that type of behavior because it often, uh, often this is just a one-off for people. It's such an easy offense. Uh, you, you, have, you have a couple nudes of an ex on your phone. Um, the moment you jokingly send them to a friend or or, or do something where you are sharing that image, um, you have committed an offense and it's taken very seriously by the courts. The general rule is uh, it, it is eligible for a custodial sentence, um, uh, but I've been able to keep many of my clients uh, out of jail and in some cases uh, discharged, meaning left without a record. Mm -hmm.